uh, Wicomico County, I should say, on 50 from Willard to Pittsville to Parsonsburg. Looks good on the bypass around Salisbury. Good on 50 out to the Bay Bridge. That's your traffic for the Voice Radio Network. All right, 728. Good morning to everybody jumping on our Facebook Live this morning. Good morning. So back Thursday, we'll continue on the way. In the meantime, we go live to the hotline. Uh, That's good, dude. I can hear you. All right, very good. Eric Roberts, uh, good morning. Welcome. Hi, Eric. Good morning. It's Bill and Jessica. Hi, Jessica. How are you guys? Hey, we're great. Appreciate you checking in, taking the time. Uh, how's everything going? Are you, are you working right now, or you on, like, a little break? Is, is everything, like, in the can ready to go, or what, uh, what are you doing, uh, you know, like, this week? <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff happening. I'm returning to Grey's Anatomy. I can't I can't give away anything about this show except to say that it's one of my favorite sets on the planet. Okay. My boss was of course Debbie Allen. The great Debbie Allen was my director, uh, who's also played my ex wife twice. <laughs> and uh and and of course I got to play Jesse Williams' dad. And uh so you know Jesse Williams and a great Hard of television. Well, well, look, I, I got to be honest. You know, as far as Grey's Anatomy goes, um, I don't watch Grey's Anatomy. I'm, I'm just going to put it out and be honest with you. But I know you from your movies, and I know you from, uh, you know, other shows. So, But now that I know you're on Grey's Anatomy, got to start watching. But Grey's Anatomy, of course, comes on ABC and Hulu. But I got to ask you. Are, and, and again, let's forget about your role on Grey's Anatomy for this second for, with this question. Are you always a villain <laughs> on your? No, I, I just have to ask because every time I've seen you, you're always like the bad guy. And do you like playing that role? <laughs> yeah, I, okay, I don't know. Well, yeah, well, when you have to see a movie called Best of the Best, I play a very good guy. And play, I, I'm even a father. Okay, I play a really good guy. So see that, see that movie. But here's what happened to my career, and. Uh, I played I played three good guys in a row my first three films and then Bob Fosse put me in a movie called Star 80 which was a docudrama about the uh, the death of uh, of Dorothy Stratton the Playboy Playmate of the Year in 1980. I played the guy who murdered her and it it totally redirected my whole career and that I was really good as this bad guy. So they started off being bad guys. Yeah, and yeah. Started playing them. Well, I, I'm and and forgive me for not remembering the name of the movie, but there was a movie that you per, were in, and I don't know if it was like a Lifetime movie. Uh, have you ever you've done Lifetime movies? I've done every kind of movie you can think of. Okay, well, there was a movie where you were a either a stalker or a, like a stepdad or a boyfriend to a, a recently split up mom on Lifetime or something, and. It was called Stalked by My Doctor, and That's we it. just got through it with part five. We've, we've, done, we, we've done five of those movies for the Lifetime channel, and they're just great. I play a guy who likes young girls, but sometimes <laughs> these young girls have mothers, and of course you have to get rid of the mothers. Yes. And, uh, so... Uh, <laughs> So that's my guy. Stalked yeah, by my doctor. Guy. That was that, that's a really good one. That's a really just it, we really liked that movie. Not, not we we yeah, didn't like yeah. your role. You, you were the bad guy. We didn't like you, but we liked you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, good for me. I love that. I love being loved and hated in the same breath. But yes, you were really good in it. I don't know what it is about you. You're really good in that kind of role, like the the evil guy, the bad guy. You, you like again. You got that look. I don't know what it is. I'm sure you're a great person. <laughs> That's why you're successful. You really are a great person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just lucky, I guess. I have a great life. I have a lot of fun. Yes, absolutely. All right. So you were. And by the way, just for people who don't know, you're also you were also in The Dark Knight. I know a lot of people would remember you from that movie as well. Yeah, that was a hell of a movie, wasn't it? How was it working on a uh, you know big production like that? Well, you know, uh, Chris Chris Nolan is you know, very old fashioned, and the, you know, the movie system is a is a fascist system. You have a dictator and everybody else, and that's how he runs the show. He's the boss. Yeah, he says goes, and uh, he makes great movies, dude. He makes great movies. Wow, that and, uh, so so you know, that that was a dream come true. But he was he was probably the highlight of that movie was this. We shot all the Chicago stuff in Chicago, and then all the England stuff we're going to shoot at supposedly Pinewood Studios, the old English studios. Okay, but we were 
drive there and they say, no, we're not shooting there. We're going to shoot at the old Zeppelin hangar 30 miles north of London. And uh, it's about three stories tall and about three football fields wide. And you show up and it's been empty since, since 1919. But you will show up and you walk in the door and it's all Gotham City. Wow. It's so cool. That's and great. I bet. Week, which I am. It's fantastic, dude. It's unbelievable. And well, congratulations on uh, being an Academy Award nominee. Thank you, dude. That was mind blowing, of course. <laughs> you, know, you, you, uh, you, you know, you, you, you always say to your friends and your family, you know, the honor was in the nomination. But then when you lose, you, uh, you realize the honor would have been to, uh, to win the award. But no, you'll get it again. Don't worry, you'll get it again. No worries. You ain't done your career yet. You got. I mean, you're in, you're in everything. And and that that kind of leads into my next thing is that a lot of people might not know because they know you. But they might not know that you are uh, Julia Roberts' brother. Brother, yeah. That's right. I got her, her first movie, which got her her Screen Actors Guild card. And then she did it all herself and became the biggest star on our planet. Do you, see, do you, have, do you, uh, you guys, like, hang out? Have you talked to her lately? I mean, she is your sister. <laughs> <laughs> How is she? <laughs> We uh, we uh, communicate. She uh, she 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 talks to one of my wife. She talks to me. But sure, yeah, yeah, we're we're family. Just that brother sister relationship, huh? Uh, well, you know, I think it's more than that. But but you know, if you if you if you if you ever talk about it, it becomes a soap opera. Yeah, right. Right. Well, look uh, again, uh, Eric. Uh, you're gonna be back on Grey's Anatomy. Um, Grey's Anatomy comes on uh, tomorrow, Thursday, on ABC. Check it out, and then of course uh, on all the you know ABC, Hulu streaming uh, networks the following day. And uh, you know, again, uh, real quick for people just tuning in, um, explain like uh, you know your role in Grey's Anatomy, and kind of talk to us a little bit about the difference. And do are you going to be like? You're rejoining Grey's Anatomy. Is this like every week now, or you know, you just doing like a quick stint, or is it you're like going to be more like a long term role? And, and what's the difference between doing that and doing like just shooting a quick movie? Well, I'm just reoccurring on uh, on on uh, Grey's Anatomy. I've been on that show now. How many times have I been on this show, Eliza? Grey's. Uh, I've been on the show like uh, three times, but it's always been life changing events. So yeah, it's always kind of kind of huge and uh but no i'm i'm what you call a reoccurring on that show i just i come and go and uh and uh but you know, jesse williams is 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 probably the biggest on television you know these days and i play his dad so so i have a great time and uh and you know i've had some great sons you know benjamin hollingsworth on code black eon gross and best of the best keaton Simons in real life. I mean, that's been great, son. Yeah, no, absolutely. And and real quick, I know you mentioned it earlier, but you said you just got finished doing a uh, another Lifetime movie, like um, you know, like a thriller. Start by my doctor, part five. Wow, I love this one. Wow, yeah, can't it's, wait. It's called it's called Just What the Doctor Ordered. Any? Oh, well, yes. Oh, Just What the Doctor Ordered. You're you're really good at those thr- thrillers. Man, I'm telling you, stick with them. Keep, like keep, them. keep. They like them. Yeah, they keep making them. Yeah, keep them coming. Keep them coming. You're great. You're great. If people want to follow you, want to, uh, you know, keep up with you, um, you know, are you on social media? You got a website and all that. Yeah, uh, actor dot com or at Eric Roberts on on. Uh, you know, all, all that. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, we love you. And, and you know, I, I know, uh, you know, I, I'm 39. I knew you're a little bit older than I am. So, so that's why I said, do you have a social media? I didn't want to say, hey, you got IG, TikTok, Facebook. I, I, want, I didn't know if you, uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm on all of them. Right. Hey, appreciate you checking in. Thank you so much. When you talk to your sister, tell you her Bill and. Have a great day. Hey, when you I'll talk to your sister, tell her Bill and Jessica said hello. Thank you. Have a good one. We have your copies of Now That's What I Call Music 78 available now. Album 78 includes all of your favorite hits like